Mmm, it's chewy. You know, it's always nice when a genuinely good product comes in for review, and the Chewy Larkbox X is a very good budget mini PC. Featuring the Intel N100 4-core CPU, this is the first box to just work at full performance straight up. No BIOS tweaks needed, and for that alone, it should be praised. But it's also so much more than that. However, before we get into it, it's your very last chance to win an i7 Intel NUC 13 Pro Arena Canyon from the good folks at Simply NUC. Head on down to the competition link in the video description for your chance to win. US residents, 18 and up. The Chewy Larkbox X is set to launch at $199 US dollars, but I've been informed by Chewy it will be $180 after a discount coupon, which is a really nice price for this mini. For the Benjamins, you get 12GB of LPDDR5 memory and a 512GB SATA M.2 SSD. Yep, that means soldered memory, which may put some people off, but 12 gigs for this budget price is nice. 8 is the bare minimum these days, and 16 is more than most need with these boxes. There's not much inside the packaging, just the mini PC, manual, and power supply. Some other minis include a HDMI cord and a monitor mount, but this one doesn't support mounting. The Larkbox X is made of plastic, and I think it has a nice design with its two-tone aesthetic. The plastic quality is great, better than most of the budget minis I've reviewed so far. It's really solid and feels well put together, definitely punching above its weight. For ports, we've got dual USB 3 and USB-C on the front, which supports display out. And there's an audio jack next to the power button. On the back, there's dual LAN. Interestingly, one is 2.5 gigabit and the other is gigabit. There's also HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort, which allows for an extra two displays, so three in total. And there's another two USB 3 ports, which are all 5 gigabit. That's a nice port selection. My favourite so far, actually. And I also have to point out Wi-Fi 6 is included instead of the really old chips like we've seen on some budget minis. Opening it up is not as easy as I'd like. Four exposed screws and then getting the lid off is a bit of a wrestling match. Once it does come off, you'll find an AirDisc M.2 SATA drive for storage, and underneath that is the M.2 Wi-Fi card. While there's physical space for a 2.5 inch SATA drive, there's no way to connect it. So no further storage expansion on this one, unfortunately. The CMOS battery is hidden further away, but again, disassembling this mini is not straightforward. This really is a box best for just buying and using as it is. Even the BIOS is bare bones without any advanced options. The Chewy Larkbox X comes with Windows 11 Home, but Ubuntu also worked apart from Wi-Fi. You'll need to find the driver for it. Okay, enough faffing around. Now for the benchmarks. The Larkbox X is near the top of the pack in single core. It's only 2% behind the B-Link EQ12. In multi-core, it snags second place. This time less than 2% behind the EQ12. And, again, second place in video encoding. You guessed it, 2% behind. Very consistent, and the first mini PC to run the N100 at full performance out of the box. Well done, Chewy. <coughs> oh, and the air disc performs fine for a budget OS drive. I think most of these budget minis should use M.2 SATA as they run cooler and don't need to be speed demons. But does the good news continue with graphics? Well, yes. While no N100 CPU can match the Pentium N6005, the Larkbox takes third place in this DX11 roundup. The differences between the three top N100s is insignificant, and in DX12 it's pretty much the same story. Did you know Intel's latest and budget processors have AV1 hardware video decoding? Well, the Chewy Larkbox X has no problem playing back 4K 60fps. A few frames are dropped as you press play and the UI fades on YouTube, but then it's silky smooth all the way to the end. The Intel N100 CPU is no speed demon, but you can play some esports titles on it. I get various requests and try to add them in. Here's Dota 2 running on the N100. At 1080p lower setting, you're looking at around 100 FPS, but it doesn't look very nice. 30 seconds to back. Going up to the next detail setting drops the frame rate down to the 60s, but is much more visually appealing. To battle. Darkness hungers. 
Valorant is also playable. I recommend locking it to 60 FPS and you shouldn't get too many dips. Otherwise, the frame rate is all over the place. League of Legends, a 1080p medium, runs pretty well. CSGO on the other hand, well, at 720p low, the frame rate still isn't great. Another request was to try the 3DS emulator Citra using the newly added Vulkan API. And unfortunately, it's very glitchy. Mario 3D World and Resident Evil Revelations both crashed on the title screens. Metroid Samus Returns almost hit 60fps at 720p, but also crashed. Vulkan for Intel graphics needs more time in the oven. PS2 at 720p shouldn't be a problem for most of the library. It's just Gran Turismo 4 which doesn't run at full speed. Idle power draw for the Larkbox X was the lowest of any older Lake N Mini so far, and matched last gen. But the 28 watt maximum was even more impressive, beating all the other N100 units as well. At 81C maximum CPU temp, it falls in the middle and is a good result. There's no SSD temperature as the drive didn't have a sensor, but as mentioned earlier, SATA drives shouldn't thermal throttle compared to NVMe. So far so good, right? But does it pass the all-important sniff test? I mean noise. Noise test. Yep, it does pretty well. It's not the quietest mini PC in the roundup, but it's not noisy either, and matched the B-Link EQ12. So, let's summarize. The Chewy Larkbox XN100 has nice build quality. It performs well without any tweaks. It's got a great port selection and at 199 USD comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte SSD. It's also low on noise and handles CPU temps fine. However, the 12 gigabytes of DDR5 is soldered on. There's no 2.5 inch SATA drive support and the mini isn't easy to disassemble. It doesn't support VESA mounting either. But considering my budget favorite at the time, the B-Link EQ12 cost 40 US dollars more at launch and only comes with 8GB of memory, then I personally would go for the Chewy Larkbox X, and I will be putting my Mini where my mouth is. My EQ12 will be swapped for this one. Well done Chewy! <laughs> the Larkbox X N100 is a fine budget Mini PC, and if you can get it at less than $199, I salute you! But before you go, why not check out my B-Link EQ12 review for my previous favorite budget unit. Cheers!